and I was like oh my gosh like am I really about to see the boys tomorrow I was like over the moon excited I didn't even like how did that even happen to me I didn't even know I all right quick intro this is part two of my One Direction experience let's get into it so it's like five o'clock or whatever and I'm trying to like get my mom to drop me off at this concert and she just won't. She was so confused. How did you get a ticket? What do you mean you're just gonna meet her there? Like what? What if they freaking kidnap you? And I was like, you know what? That's the risk I'm willing to take. Everything for one day. I was like, mom, like you do not understand. Like I really need to get to the freaking concert now. Like I need it, we need to go. And she just wasn't, we were just fighting. And I was like, well, we weren't like fighting like, oh my God. But I was like, mom, please, please. She's like, no, no, they're gonna kidnap you. They're gonna take you away from me. I was like, mom, it's not that deep, deep, please. So I called up one of my friends and I was like, hey girl, like literally my mom's not taking me. Like I got a ticket, please drop me off. And she was like, say no more. I'm on my way. I was like, all right, bet. Okay, it wasn't talking like that, but you know what I mean. She comes and picks me up. We're on our way there. It's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like, I can't believe my mom wouldn't like drop me off. And like, we didn't have like Uber or like Lyft at the time. So it was literally my mom or one of my other friends because I didn't have a car at the time. <laughs> this is the most frustrating thing. But when we arrived to the stadium, like everything was like super busy. Like there was no way that they could drop me off at the front of the stadium like they wanted to which is fine and I was like all right cool that's that's fine so we got off like the highway and then she made a u-turn was gonna go back onto the highway and I was like you know what just stop here like I'm gonna jump out and then just walk to the ace like the stadium that's fine and she was like are you sure and I was like yeah girl that's fine it's all good I literally jumped off when there was like traffic going on security was just like what is this girl freaking doing hopped off I was like all right thank you so much like a freaking love you i hop off jump out of the car and i start going to like the light and i'm walking with like a group of people i'm by myself and like i have anxiety and i don't know how like or where this confidence came from but all of a sudden i was a bomb ass bitch walking down that freaking street on my way to the stadium to see the boys got to the front and i was calling her she's like where are you i was like girl i'm right here and like we met up we said hi and she was so sweet and she gave me the ticket i gave her the money and that was that and i was honestly like a little bit worried that it was gonna be a fake ticket but i was just like praying and hoping that it wasn't we get to the doors and they do the security check and everything and i'm like all right we got done with that one part and then we keep walking and they scan my ticket and it goes through and i'm just like oh my god like is this really about to happen like you're freaking kidding me like i'm about to be okay that's fine cool then we get into the stadium and then the girl that you know gave me the ticket she said all right well we have to go like this way over here because we're like on the floor we're not like up there so we need to go wait like wait over, like on this line in this line over here and i was like what like i'm not used to this like this is on you girl checked my ticket again and they gave me like a wristband and i was like oh my gosh like real vip like okay whenever we're like walking in i see like this whole like merch section like just for the floor area and i was like oh my gosh like this is less packed than the one outside like people were like going crazy sweating and everything outside i of course had no money like none at all and my heart was breaking i couldn't buy freaking merch and i was just like okay like well, at least I'm here. That's fine. Kylie was like, do you want to stop at the merch section? And I was like, oh, we can do that like, like afterwards or whenever. Like, it's fine. Let's just go find our seats first. Girl, I have no freaking money. I barely made it to the concert. Anyways, starting to walk down the aisles. The closer we're getting, the closer I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, we're about to freaking like what i was expecting us to be like in the back not because of her but be just like my luck got closer and closer and closer this like the <sighs> boys is like ramp thing was right here there was a section and then us like right here right right freaking here well our seats were like off, like here but like people two people never came and then kylie and i were just like all right let's like move like closer so we like jumped back over here like in the middle of like everything it will like two songs into like five six of summer whenever they came out but like okay i'm jumping ahead hold on okay so this is how close we were i'm gonna show you guys a picture that i took because i literally could not believe it 
That's how close we freaking were. For once in my lifetime, I'm gonna be able to see the boys without binoculars basically or like you know the screen so i was just like mentally trying to prepare myself and just be in the moment as much as i could <sighs> before i knew it five six of summer came on stage and they were absolutely incredible they obviously smashed the f out of that stadium i recorded everything everything and kylie and i were just like jamming out we were like yeah like you know whenever they were done I was like, okay, so I died. I'm trying to like relive again, like resurrect my soul. Try to wait for the boys. We were all anticipating it. We were all just waiting. It was intense and I was like, wait, I'm actually, I'm not here right now. Like this is what, my luck is, it's always been terrible. And now, <sighs> okay, the lights went off. I'm being so dramatic, but literally the lights went off. All of a sudden their song started playing and they started to walk out and they were just so beautiful. I could not believe my bare eyes were looking at their faces with nothing in between us, like stopping it. Like clear as day, they were right there, right there. Like, oh, it was insane. Two minutes in, like the boys were walking out into the ramp and like right in front of me. Oh my goodness, like this is not happening to me. Like this isn't real. They started like singing and everything and I started like jumping up and down. I was like recording the whole thing, Snapchatting the whole thing. And I was like, okay, this moment cannot, this whole concert can't get any better than this. Like this is amazing. During the concert, Harry spots this one girl in a banana costume. And here's a picture of the famous, whoa, of the one of the famous, you know, pictures that went like viral or whatever here. Uh, he spotted her and he was like, oh my God, it's a banana. And that girl, that banana was right there, like right in front of me. And I was like, I was like looking at the whole thing. I was like, oh my God, this boy right here. And I just, something that went like viral on tw like Tumblr at the time. I witnessed that with my own eyes. I was just shook. Sister shook. <laughs> Maybe it was like later or before. I think it was like after that. Harry, literally like, okay. I just want to say this real quick, like quickly. I love all of the boys equally, but for some reason, Harry's energy to me, for me personally, like please don't hate me. It was just like more intense for me at the concert. It was always there, like right in front of me. And he, it was just, Okay, I'm, okay, I'm like a Harry, like, you know, like, Harry like, was like my number one, literally back then. Like, I love them all the same, but he was just like, you know, like a little bit, I was like, Harry, <laughs> that sounded so ugly. <laughs> he was asking, he was like, okay, whose birthday is it? And this one girl caught his attention, which was on my side, and she was right there, like in front of me. We get it, I was there, okay. Cool. oh my god it's my birthday and he's like all right like let's start singing happy birthday so he starts singing her happy birthday and here is my snap of when he was singing happy birthday to her <laughs> him in person and like I want a picture with him somehow some way I don't give a job snapchatting and I just turned around and I pulled up my phone pulled up the selfie and just started taking pictures and I like didn't know how to take selfies back then because like I still don't but you know it was worse back then and I took a selfie and you can see his silhouette and you can kind of see him but it's like right there and I blurred everybody out I posted it on my Instagram and went freaking crazy I I have a picture technically with Harry Styles it's not the best I feel like if I gave the picture to somebody that knows how to edit it like super well then you can see like you can make him like HD and like you can see his like him right there like clear because like the light won't be on him hopefully one day like i can do that if not like i just want to meet harry styles in person i took a selfie with harry styles and then i was like wait i want to like picture with all of them <laughs> so right so then i just started like 
like snapping pictures and like I could I took one of like Liam when his back was towards me that's the only one that I could find that I actually saved I'm stupid and there's another one of Louis and Zane sitting down They're like far off in the distance but it's fine like that's it's me and them in one picture technically I don't know why I couldn't take one of Niall, or I didn't. He was just, Niall was everywhere and he was like far sometimes. He wouldn't really go to the ramp like Harry would. After all that happened and I was like literally like crying in the inside, the concert was about to end. Kylie told me that she had to go to the restroom and I was like, all right, that's fine. So she left. My phone was about to die. Like I had been recording the entire concert and I had the iPhone 5 back then. So the battery was literally like literally would die so freaking fast she wasn't coming back I wasn't like super worried but i had realized at that moment with the boys in front of me everybody cheering going going crazy and i'm there by myself but i didn't really think of how i was getting home i just had the, like i just had you know like going into the concert like that's all i was thinking about getting there and being there and i never once thought of how i was leaving and i started to panic and my anxiety overtook me and i was like oh my gosh i need to find a way home like i love the boys so much and i really like saw them and everything but i had to get home safe all right, so that's the end of part two. Now I'm gonna leave part three in the description down below. So make sure to click on that to hear the ending of this whole story. And I was like, okay, yeah, like, you know, chill. A 16 year old girl walking around like downtown at night by myself with a dead phone, cool.